Michael Jackie Dempson, check it out. Now, if you guys don't know, man, I was born and raised in Jamaica, okay? Dance souls in my blood. It's actually my favorite genre of music I grew up on, it, okay? Now, of course, love hip-hop as well, but as a little child, I grew up on dance hall and reggae. Now, here's the thing about it, because dance hall has become a major focus in U.S. culture, and everybody's making a dance hall track. Everybody has a sister, grandmama, an uncle, a niece who was born in Jamaica, or they claim wherever they're from is like little Jamaica. Like, everybody in Toronto is basically half Jamaican now, okay? Everybody wants to speak patois, and we've seen that the music has been used and kind of influenced by dancehall. Now, there's a big debate going on. If you live in the U.S., you might be oblivious to this because you just think it just starts and ends with U.S. culture. But in these other places, in Jamaica, in even Africa, where African music is really popping, right, they look at what's happened with U.S. culture, just like uh, U.S. music, and they're like, wait, Basically, they have taken dancehall and some producers, it's not just artists, some producers, right? Some artists, right? Drake, Kanye, Bieber, Veli, Tory Lanez, and other people, right? They've taken dancehall and they've brought it into pop and they've kind of not only uh, added and taken specific elements from it, but they have rebranded it and changed the name. They're calling dancehall sounding tracks uh, Tropical House. They're calling African sound and tracks Afro beat. All right. In those countries, and and when I'm saying those countries, obviously Jamaica and then African countries, basically it's a big debate because they're like, wait, uh, are they trying to like bring us into their culture or they're just trying to steal from us and act like they're kind of creating some new shit? All right. That's pretty much what's going on. Also, there's other people that say, wait, 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 let's everybody chill back because we're getting our exposure. And if people like those songs that sound like a little bit like our songs, eventually they'll start to like us. All right. So that's the whole thing pretty much going on. Now, Sean Paul recently, who's about to drop an album, he actually spoke out about cultural appropriation. He actually feels like these artists are appropriating and really just kind of almost stealing a, a Jamaican or dancehall culture because they're not given proper credit, okay? This is what he said to The Guardian. He says this, all right? It's a sore point when people like Drake or Bieber or other artists come and do dancehall-oriented music but don't credit where dancehall came from and they don't necessarily understand it. A lot of people get upset, they get sour. I know artists back in Jamaica, they don't like Major Lazer or that don't like Major Lazer because they think he does or they do the same thing as Drake and Kanye. They take and take and don't credit. Now, a lot of people have the term of credit really fucked up. Some people might be like, hey, yeah, they say they're doing that, so that's enough credit as it is, right? But again, for these people... Right In whatever culture, whether it's dancehall or whether they're doing African music, they feel like their culture is being ripped from them and then being rebranded. Because again, a lot of people are calling it Tropical House. Okay? Now, again, when these tracks usually come in, uh, some artists of these particular cultures that feel appropriated, they feel almost entitled or they actually feel like, wait, if you're doing our music, why don't you work with the actual people who are authentic in this music? Like, why don't you work with a Alkaline, a Popcorn, a Vibes Cartel, a Idonia, a Busy Signal? And, of course, some of these guys, they do get work with. Of course, like Busy Signal, he works with Major Lazer Bunch. Of course, Popcorn worked with Drake. Of course, Assassin worked with uh, Kanye. And, of course, people are using little spots. But overall, people feel like the culture is being appropriated and robbed. All right? So that's really what Sean Paul is speaking about. Okay? Now, the problem here is this. There's no united front. And this is really to Sean Paul and everybody else who gets disgruntled in these quote-unquote cultural appropriation type of things. There's no united front. Okay? When Mr. Vegas comes out and tries to speak for the culture, basically he's called a hater by a fellow comrade because the fellow comrade worked with Drake, okay? So Popcorn is going to look at uh, uh, Mr. Vegas and say, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm working with Drake. 
You get me? Now, everybody else who's not working with Drake, they're also feeling a type of way. But if Drake works with them, they feel no type of way, right? If Kanye works with them, they feel no type of way. So in reality, man, I people see these things as a way to come up um, as much as I do think it's a bit of cultural appropriation. I'm not going to lie, man. Knowing how much I love dancehall, I'm glad to see the sound get that uh, uh, exposure, Maybe not as much as I really wanted to or the artists I would like to get the exposure. But we know that music like dancehall and African music and, of course, oh, any type of ethnic type of like a genre of music, it doesn't get that international acclaim. And because of that, a lot of times we just kind of hope it blows up and just hope you kind of reap the benefits because you're one of the pioneers. So what Sean Paul is saying, he has a point, but I feel like there's no united front on anything because he says this now, but I guarantee if Kanye hit him up to get on the next like uh, album he's about to put out, he's going to shut the fuck up and he's going to go. So is there a united front or is niggas just mad that they're not getting features, right? And because of that, is it really cultural appropriation or basically you're just looking out for your own damn self? So you really don't care. You just wanted to be a part of the mix, Okay. People usually don't care if it includes them, all right? If they're excluded, nah, you're the other Robin or culture. You, you include them, ah, man, everything is straight. You know what I mean? That's the fam. Think about it. And by the way, the, kind of the same thing's happening with UK Grime as well. We've seen some artists try to uh, appropriate um, UK culture as well uh, a little bit, and I could see they're kind of having that feeling as well. In the comments, if you guys are from another country or you, you like other genres of music, Please jump in a conversation. We would love to hear what you got to say. Salute to all dancehall artists. If you guys don't know, I love dancehall. And um, all these dancehall artists which have not really crossed over the mainstream, hopefully if people give them an open ear because they hear music already sounding like those guys from other American artists, maybe they'll give them a shot. Dexter, Daps, other people like that. Why not? So salute to Alkaline, uh, Vibes Cartel, Popcorn, Masika, Gage, Tommy Lee, pretty much everybody who does dancehall music. I love it all, okay? And I'm just hoping you guys get the opportunity where you could actually be more successful because the music that you're doing and you really are authentic at doing it, it's basically now blown up worldwide. Get a comment, make sure you guys like them, and subscribe to Watch Academics. I'm out.